name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the music arranging portion of the music theory material. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Before you begin this section, it's important that you go through all of the basics of theory playlist material. For this portion of the music theory material, we'll be using Sylvia Wood's Music Theory and Arranging Techniques for Folk Harps book. This is a wonderful book that you'll thoroughly enjoy. Today we continue with chapter 22 of your book titled Irish Dance Tunes. When playing fast dance tunes such as Irish jigs, reels, and hornpipes, you don't always have a lot of time to get all the notes of the chords in. When playing a complete chord on your beat, you usually have to play all the notes at once instead of slightly breaking them as you normally do with chords of three or more notes. Also, the rhythm is extremely important in dance tunes, and so you want to emphasize the important beats with your, uh, with your accompaniment. We will go through the four main types of Irish dance tunes with useful accompaniment patterns. Jigs are in 6-8 time, with an emphasis on beats 1 and 4, the basic accompaniment rhythms which each take up three beats or half the measure are a dotted quarter note, a quarter and an eighth note, or three eighth notes. These three rhythms can be put together in various ways to make up a full measure. These three rhythms can be put together on page 94 of your book and are some examples of the possibilities with the same chords throughout the measure. Try some of these patterns in Jackson's Fancy at the bottom of page 94 of your book and behind, and behind the haystack on page 95 of your book. Don't forget that you can change chords halfway through the measure if you need to. Also, try to experiment with some short counter me melodies every once in a while. And this is Jackson's Fancy. sound like. And this is Behind the Haystack. sound like. Slip jigs are in 9-8 time with an emphasis on beats 1, 4, and 7. They use the same basic patterns as the jigs in 6-8 time, except there are three groups of three beats each instead of two. You still have the same basic rhythms, a dotted quarter, a quarter and an eighth note, and three eighth notes. But in a slip jig, you would need three or three of these rhythms to make up a full measure instead of only two. Try playing the slip jigs, ride a mile jig at the bottom of page 95, and Winnie Hills of Lentrim on page 96. And this is Ride a Mile. sound like. And this is Winnie Hills of Leitrim. your 
arrangements sound like. Reels are written in either 4-4 four, four time or cut time with emphasis on beats 1 and 3. Hornpipes are also in 4-4 four, four or cut time but are played slower than reels and have a bouncing dotted, dotted lilt to them. Although the melody rhythms are different in reels and hornpipes, their basic accompaniment rhythms are the same. The main left hand rhythms are quarter notes, half notes, or eighth notes. Since the tunes are so fast, it is easier to use a lot more quarter and half notes and fewer eighth notes. At the bottom of page 96 are some suggestions for accompaniment patterns for reels and hornpipes. Try these on Riddigan's reel on page 97 and Lady Walpole's reel on page 97, 96 and on the two hornpipes called Burns Hornpipe and Bantry Bay on page 98. When you need to change chords in the middle of a measure, use just use half of the accompaniment pattern for each chord. Once again, these are only some of the possible patterns that you can use. And this is Redigan's Reel. sound like. And this is Lady Walpole's Reel. sound like. And this is Bernie's hornpipe. Horn pipe. sound like. And this is Bantry's Bay. sound like. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.